So it's Shane with the simple gig.com educating and training, not entertaining and complaining. Yes, I promote owning your car, but not for the reasons you think, right? Renting a car is crazy, it's stupid, but not for the reasons you think. What you think is 250 a week is too much or it's expensive. The truth of the matter is $250 a week needs to be going to, after paying off your car, be setting aside. You're paying $250 per week anyway. These rental companies like Hertz, they didn't come up with this dollar figure for like profit reason. That's what it costs to run that car into the ground. That's what it costs. The amount of miles that you're going to put on that car and plus in the meantime, buy new tires and oil changes, you're going to depreciate that car that fast and the mileage so $250 per week is what you're spending on your car anyway even if you own if you own and you do this full time 6 hours or more per day you are to be spending $250 per week on your car at least per week so i did an average of 410 over 8 months got my car paid off beautiful spaceship of a car it <laughs> went down in value rather quickly you got drunk people bouncing off of doors and cracking hinges and now you go through the car wash and I mean it just goes on and on and on you put a hundred thousand miles on that car in 18 months you want to pay it off in eight months and then I had a wonderful 10 months of, another, but during those 10 months, I should have been paying myself 250 per week. And out of that 250, you're going to extract the tires and oil changes, so it's not, but the rest goes into your Acorns account. So the entrepreneur. You should click on my Acorns account at the bottom of the simplegig.com. You're going to get $5. I'm going to get $5. And start your Acorns account and put regularly, if your car's already paid off, $250 per week goes to. So my point of this video is not that, yeah, own your car because the price is too high. No. Renting a car through the Lyft program or something is uh, the express drive. Renting a car is going to cost you two seventy per week, but that includes insurance, everything. They're going to buy the tires. They're going to buy the oil changes. You just and you don't care about the car. When you have your car, you have to have that same mentality. It's costing me two hundred and fifty dollars a week instead of two seventy. You're gonna take off well because I'm paying for my insurance over here, and you might have bundled your insurance with some other things. So let's not talk about. It. But two fifty per week you're putting aside. If your car's not paid off, you're paying it off at least two fifty per week. When it's paid off. You're putting that into your Acorns account to where, and you're setting that aside because then a timing belt goes. And then it goes into other things like do timing belts and head gaskets and radiators and transmissions and all these things. So are electric cars better? And is the autonomous thing really going to happen? And if it does happen, you should make your Uber Eats passengers come to your car. If we all start programming them now, because that's what's going to happen. Do you think an autonomous car is going to deliver their Uber Eats and find the exact and go up some stairs? No. Get your butt down here. Meet me at my car. This is what we all got to be doing. And we got to train the people. That's part of what 
the scamdemic and COVID-19 is about, is just training you how to think what your idea of customer service was and switch it into what customer service is. Damn good, damn fast, damn cheap. That's it. Not kissy kissy, not touchy touchy. And um, so that's, that's that. Bottom line is 250 a week, even if you're owning your own car. If your car is paid off, still put 250 a week aside for your car. And that's the whole point. I'm Shane with the simplegig.com. Drive towards your dreams.